Hello, welcome back to another quick little episode of Sean's Garage. I'm going to go over how to use a vacuum bleeder or a vacuum pump to bleed your brakes. This is a Craftsman Professional. I've had this for probably about 12 or 14 years. Never really used it before, but I was alone and I figured I might as well give it a shot. I need to bleed these brakes. I just replaced this caliper and I tried doing a gravity bleed and I still had a really soft pedal. I used my scanner to do an auto bleed. That didn't work very well either. So I started playing around with this. Uh, it took me a little bit to get it to seal good. Um, I don't know if you can see, but I put a little bit of Teflon tape around the bleeder screw because I was sucking in air around the bleeder screw. Let me get you set back up here. And that uh, pretty much fixed all my problems. I was also using one of these rubber adapters on the end of the hose and I was getting leaks around here. So I just uh, made it so I pushed the hose over. Uh, take a, a box end wrench, put it over your bleeder screw so you can open and close it. And just put your hose over top of that. Make sure your reservoir is good and full. And then we're just going to pump it up. It takes a, quite a few pumps to get, a, to get a vacuum. I like to get it to about 25 inches. That's pretty close. Got it to about 23, 24. I've already done this, so I just wanted to show you guys. And then you just crack this open. You can see the fluid flowing already. Don't let your gauge drop below five because then you'll start sucking in air. I only had to do this once and I had a firm pedal already. Because it takes a little while for it to bleed down. So I'm at 15 inches of vacuum so I'm just going to go ahead and lock it up and that's pretty much it. Put your dust cap back on. We'll top that off. Pop off the fluid. Cap back on. We want to climb in. Squeeze in here. I'm up here in the car now, and that pedal is rock hard. This is the kit I am using right here. Not even sure if it's made anymore. I've had this for years, but it's Craftsman Professional 14005 is the part number. All right, that's how to do a one-man bleeding operation with a vacuum bleeder. Hope that helps someone. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I'll do a lot of quick little tips like this. And also, I'm going to continue working on my Jeep TJ. Thanks again.